Tonight, the FBI is investigating after this racist flyer was found in a Midland neighborhood. Dozens of homes along North End Street and Boyd Avenue had this piece of paper in a Ziploc bag in their driveway. The flyers have a title on top that states White Revolution, recruiting people to join the effort. We've decided to blur the contact information on the flyer, but there is a phone number and a web page that's listed on it. Now, we don't know how these flyers ended up in a Midland neighborhood, but we can tell you flyers like this have shown up in other parts of Texas. The FBI believes a group out of Washington State is behind it. The big question, what exactly can you do if you get one of these at your home? News West 9, Sammy still caught up with the FBI to find out. Sammy. Crystal, house after house here in Old Midland, as you can see behind me, they actually had flyers just like this one dropped off in their driveway. Now, the FBI does tell me that they will prosecute uh, anyone who put these flyers there, but with a specific reason. The First Amendment, of course, protects people from saying whatever they want about whomever they want, but that changes when it, there is a call to action with violence violence against a certain race. Old Midland is a quiet neighborhood. And still is. The neighbors are wondering why someone would choose to drop flyers like these in their yards. The Midland Police Department is aware and tell us, quote, on the police side, there isn't anything we can do. The only recourse from a policing standpoint would be if a homeowner caught someone approaching their property to leave the flyer and ordered them away, but the subject continued to enter onto the property anyway. Then we would have criminal trespass. Domestic terrorist crimes like this are routine for the FBI. Right now, they are learning as much as they can about the Washington state-based group they believe is behind the flyer. So we're tracking all of the different uh, domestic terrorist groups and obviously our Seattle office is definitely uh, tracking them. Uh, so what we do is we'll do a coordinated effort and we have our um, calls that we do with different offices and see, you know, tell them what we have and they tell us what they have. Um, and then we, we help each other to do uh, these type of investigations. Here's what the FBI tells us you can do if you get a flyer like this. Make sure that uh, the community knows if they do see a flyer and it's on their doorstep, what should they do? Let's just make sure that they don't touch it with their bare hands because it could leave, there could be fingerprints there. Um, and if they could, uh, maybe with like some uh, kitchen gloves or anything, just put it in like a Ziploc bag or some type of bag that it could, it could be protected for the evidence and then call either uh, Midland PD or the FBI office that I mentioned earlier. So that evidence will then be presented to the United States Attorney's Office. The, the attorneys there will determine whether there's enough elements to charge the individuals responsible for these acts. And again, looking for the, the call to action, uh, call to, you know, for violence and things like that. Those are the things that they're going to be focusing on. First Amendment, we let it go. They could say whatever they want about whomever they want. But as soon as there is a call to action with violence involved, we will charge, we will prosecute, or the U.S. Attorney's Office will prosecute. Now, the FBI does ask anyone who received a flyer like this in their driveway to report it. All of that information on where exactly you can report it can be found on NewsWest9.com. Reporting live in Midland, I'm Sammy Steele. Back to you, Crystal. Thank you, Sammy. Miller Mayor Patrick Payton put out a statement about the flyer saying, quote, as a community, I firmly believe we all reject the extremes on all sides, whether a flyer that strokes anger, hate and dissension or social media and messaging that constantly drives wedges between people. Here in Midland, we fight for one another and not against one another, end quote. News West 9 will continue to update you on any information about the organization behind those flyers.